on my banquet bench. This is a simple project that you can do with paint supplies you have around your house, plus a few additional items. This is just leftover paint um, that I mixed together to make a new color. This is a combination of three Benjamin Moore paint colors. You can see here, one is Sun Porch, which is kind of a yellow, Gentleman's Gray, which is a blue, and then my base, I believe, is a sample of um, Classic Gray, which is a very light, almost white color. So. I put all those in here, I shook it together like a human paint shaker, and I think it's gonna be a good color. So um, we'll call it Lara's Half Circle Green. To make the circle, I'm actually gonna use a nylon strap rather than a piece of string that I know some people use when they're drawing circles. The reason is I don't trust myself not to wiggle, but using this strap, I'm going to actually nail it into the wall to make it easier, because I think it'd be hard if somebody was holding it. It's gonna be a big circle, or half circle. Um, then I am going to make a little tiny hole, put the pencil in, and it's gonna make it super straight, and I don't have to worry about wiggling it as I do this. So um, that's what you need. I also have a drop cloth, got some painter's tape, uh, a roller, and let's go ahead and see how this turns out. Step one is to measure the full length or the diameter of the half circle. Let's do that, Ruben. Can you take that scan? All the way down there. All right, we have got 84 and a fourth. You're going to half that to 42. I have to do quick math on the spot. 42 and an eighth. And, you got that good there? Yep. I'm going to put my little circle. All right, this is where I'm going to attach the nylon strap and see how this works. Can you be my helper and hold that? You don't have to do this if you don't want to put a hole in your wall, but remember, you're painting anyways. So this tiny, tiny, tiny little nail, I don't even know if you can see it because it's so tiny. It's not going to be hard to put like a tiny little spackle over this, or I don't even have to. It won't show up. Um, but what it's going to do is it's going to make a really nice... Um, easy, smooth, round thing without making my five-year-old have to put his finger and hold it like that. That just would be really difficult. Now that I have my center point and I've got it nailed in, I'm actually just gonna use this to cut exactly where I need it. I'm gonna cut it a little bit longer um, because I'm gonna make a little hole right here at the end to put my pencil in, um, but I'm actually gonna cut it to here uh, actually, I'm going to cut it out to here. Once you have it cut, um, I'm going to go to the end here. And exactly where I want this, I'm going to put a little hole in this nylon strap. That way I can put the pencil in. You don't want to make your hole big enough for the pencil to pop through. Because this is just going to keep everything, like I said, super flat so I don't have to worry about like it wiggling like I would. Um, all right, let's do this and draw this. What do you think, Ruben? Yeah. You gonna help me paint it? Yeah. Okay. It's all the way to there. Okay, a few lessons learned here. Uh, one, if you're a perfectionist, this might not be the project for you because I'll show you some up closes of the edge. It is really hard to get that edge exactly right. Um, the second thing, I would have a wet rag on hand. That way if you go outside the line, you can clean it up real quick and you don't have to worry about repainting it with the other color. Um, the last tip is you wanna go just barely outside the pencil line. That way you don't have to clean up the pencil line later. 
Thanks for watching. This has been Laura from The Unprofessional. To see written instructions for this project and other DIY projects, visit my website, theunprofessional.com. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe.